Alright, I said I was going to make a mailing video a long time ago. Um, right after this one, I have to make Suica one because someone asked me to. So I got that on the priority list. <laughs> but for mailing, um, let's see, I got a deck for her. Um, let's see. Alright, so I got a few ways of pressure with mailing. There you go. <clears throat> so let's talk about her buttons a little, alright? You got this button, which is good for approach on the ground. It gets people that are idling on the ground. <laughs> or even if they're trying to approach you with a move. If you do 2A, um, Mailing's 2A has a large hitbox, so it should beat out most moves on the ground. Granted, the opponent is into ground neutral. Um, but yeah, this is her go-to approach button on the ground. Um, this one is better for catching people trying to jump away, but it doesn't really do that much damage. So it ends up not being that worth it. This move is good for ground approach, but it's easily jumpable. So you have to understand just how much or how often your opponent um, jumps from the ground. This this one is okay as well. Good dashing. I don't think this is that good. Um, this is this sits way too low to be effective, honestly. It's more like a ground snipe tool sometimes. But anyways, those are her ground normals. This one is actually a pretty good. Um, it's an okay anti-air. It's people that are flying above you. Um, the hitbox is pretty good. It's all over the head, and the, her box is actually covered by it a little. So I think this is pretty good. It also moves mailing forward. So. Um, all right, so let's let's talk about her main approaches though. Um, we got J5A. The good thing about Mei Ling's J5A is that it's actually one of the longest in the game. It reaches very very far. Only thing is that it doesn't really have the best um, vertical hitbox. It does have okay um, active frames, but the vertical hitbox isn't right, isn't like the best. So people could manage to anti-air you out of the air if they see your J5A coming. Um, but what does have a good vertical hitbox though, it's this move right here. Now this move is amazing, because it crosses up, it can combo. <laughs> if people try and crouch, let's say Raymo's trying to crouch over here, it will hit them regardless, at a point where J5A would normally not really hit that well. Um, even if it doesn't actually turn around, it does manage to hit behind Mei Ling. So it makes her it makes her really powerful if she's above the opponent. Just because there's, she has so many ways to hit the opponent. Like that. Like that. Um, so it's a good move for um, air to ground. It does have a little bit of a heavy startup. Um, it should be around 15 frames of startup, I think. Uh, let me check on that really quick. G2A. Okay, it has 12 hits on the first hit and 22 on the second one. So it's actually a lot faster than I thought. Um, yeah, 12 frames of startup for this move, that's amazing. The second hitbox um, actually goes in the air though, as in it goes high. It's okay for sniping people that are in the air, but you kind of have to commit to it because... Um, it's a little s too slow to start, so you have to kind of jump and do it. So this move is okay for air to airing people above you, not below you. The first hit is for getting people below you, though. <coughs> so, oh, we got this move over here. Pretty good for sniping horizontally. If someone's far away, you can actually manage to snipe them and uh, combo into the move as well. <coughs> So yeah, this move is pretty good. Um, it's a little hard to use, but it's actually pretty fast. So we got 2A, we got 4A, we got F5A. And this move is for mix-up on the ground. It's not going to hit anyone in neutral. It's way too low and way too slow for that. <clears throat> we got this move, we got this move, this move right here. Um, it's not amazing for neutral, but it can get the job done since it does have a little bit of a hit high hitbox, 
So you can snipe people that are above you in a way. And combo nicely from that. I'm not sure if that's the optimal combo, but... Um, yeah, that's that's it for melee, at least. Um, her bullets, we got 2B. It's situational anti air, but it's not really the best. It doesn't really last very long. This is good for air battles versus characters who don't really have dense bullets. Let's say like Aya. You can play around since you have fast recovery and a good pushback. <clears throat> it doesn't really do that much damage and it doesn't really start a combo unless it's close to the corner. But it's really good for erasing soft bullets like ISB bullet. Um, another good piece of neutral is this right here. Mei Ling um, has to play really patiently when she's in neutral. At least versus characters with heavy bullets. So the, using this move really well is actually a good idea. And you want to be able to cancel it really quickly and go back to the ground. Or you can do another one. But it's usually not recommended to do that. Um, this is an okay approach. It does form sort of a safe zone around the opponent. If you're trying to go in but you're not sure what they're going to do. Maybe counter attack with an anti-air or air to air you. You can do this. Um, it's good if you land cancel it because then all the recovery ends. So it's, I think it's recommendable that you probably land cancel the bullet like that. Get a good feel for the timing of the land cancel, and you, your neutral would actually improve really well if you do this. Um, it's a good approach tool, at least up close, because you have something to protect you if you're running in. Um, it is not the most densest bullet in the game though, although it's pretty dense. So you really have to watch out if there's denser bullets. Um, this is the best bullet, the densest bullet she has on her um, tool set right now. At least on the default tool set. 6C is a really good sniping tool. Uh, you really want to be able to land cancel this as well. So make sure the recovery doesn't kill you. You can do it very far away. You can charge it eventually sometimes though. It's kind of slow to start out but it becomes faster. And yeah, this will snipe people like Yuiko's C bullets. Really good against that. It also it's also denser than Sakia's C bullets. So it's a really good sniping tool in my opinion. Um yeah, we got this. Land cancel it nicely. <clears throat> um J5A, remember if you wanna be able to contest people in the air that are especially jumping from the ground, this move is really good for that. Uh if I can get it. Okay. That. So let's say people are about to jump and you and you read it. You can get into a combo and into a knockdown. So because people are not really used to playing ground neutral game, um, you can stay on the ground but you have to error. So yeah, like you just read a lot with that or maybe go into J2A since it covers below her. <coughs> We got her air unblockable setups, which are good for block strings in the air. Um, it links air block strings are actually pretty, pretty strong. Uh, we we usually start with ground block strings, but I think that pales in comparison to her air block strings. We got... And that can manage to crush people, if they don't guess right. <clears throat> So yeah, that's, that's really good. And imagine if they don't have like, let's say they don't have one orb. Then you can get a full combo of that crush. So yeah, most of the times you really just have to learn how to loop this. Um, and you will end up crushing a lot of people really easily with that kind of stuff. So yeah, her, ground her air neutral, air to air is all good. In the air, you can cover some space with this, run around, since you pretty much control the field around that area. Unless the opponent decides to shoot a bullet. But if they do shoot a bullet, though, you can grace. So, pretty good stuff, I say. So we got this. This is not really that good, but it does rise you into the air. Um, it's pretty good. It's okay, it's situational if you want to catch people in the air. But mostly... Uh, May Link say that this is a lot faster than 2C, so you might want to learn how to do this first. Um, so yeah, that's 
And that's it for neutral. We got this, we got this, we got this. This is not that good. It's okay. Oh, we got this. That's right. The snipe bullets. Um, they don't really do a lot of damage, and they don't really combo into many things. <clears throat> but it does interrupt people. It interrupts them really easily. And think of it like Raisin's B-Bullet. It doesn't reach that far, and it doesn't combo. But it is just as annoying, though, because it does stop people from their bullet startups. And it's pretty quick as well. It's a little denser than Raisin's B as well. Pretty good tool for interrupting people out of their bullets. But you have to learn how to cancel them quickly because, um, like, basically, you want to be able to use the bullets and cancel them as fast as possible. Go into the ground, fly up, fly back, air back dash, stay a little safe because if people do graze your bullet, you could be punished. So that's why it's good to land cancel it as well. Um, since you're gonna really use this in reaction to most moves in the air, you're gonna have to use it in the air and be able to fly away quickly, quickly, so you don't get like grazed and punished because it is still a little punishable, but it's um, it's a good interruption tool. Let's say that. So you kind of want to be able to move around. Um, it lingers a lot about moving around, so you'll have to play around with how well you use your bullets and how well you move with them. So that's it, like. We got Axe Kick. Axe Kick is, um, it's actually a really strong tool. Um, it, it is an air unblockable, but if it does manage to hit an opponent, you do get amazing damage. Uh, let me see if I actually remember the right combo. Oh, there you go. 3.2k. Okay. That's not... I don't think that's the optimal combo, but even that does a lot of damage. So like, yeah, um, this move is amazing if it counter hits. Apart from that, Mei Ling's combos are a little hard, but they're all listed on the wiki. Um, so you shouldn't really, I shouldn't really be writing that right now. Um, let's see if she has, oh, okay, so about her block strings, okay. Since I know a little bit about Mei Ling's block strings. In the in the ground, let's say mid screen, you don't really have a lot of options. You can 2A, 2A indefinitely, but it's not gonna crush anyone. Um, you can catch mashes of 2A staggers with 6A. So once you do manage to catch people um, away from that, you can combo it. So you have to really be aware of if it hits or not. <clears throat> um, if the opponent feels like a 6A is coming and you've established that you have some sort of respect, you can do jump J2B with a back dash jump, with a back jump, but you have to get them a little far off the distance so it actually carries correctly. It's a good tool because it does push them to the corner, which is ultimately what you want because my Link's ground uh, mid screen pressure isn't really that good. So, you can do maybe a little 5A staggers, but your job is to still like push people into the corner um, where she can actually do some work. Um, she also has this alt 2-2, two -two, which is good for crushing and pushing people into the corner especially. Just do some 2A staggers, 6E into it, and then you jump forward and react to the people's movement because they're probably not going to stay still. But if they do stay still, you can go in forward with the J5A and almost like a link. Um, yeah, this this the two is really good. I use it very often. It's really good of for guard crushes. It does 2.2 or 2.1 ish. Um, it's pretty good. So let's say people are down two orbs. Um, you do this, and then you crush them. Um, let's say they have three orbs, but they run block. So, oh, that's a little funky. Let's see. That's crush. And you can combo after it as well. So that's cool stuff. 2.3, you have your high option. Um, let's see. There you go. 
Okay, that one didn't actually. Gotta be a little farther away. There you go. So this is three orbs. Um, if the opponent is two orbs down, and with a high or low mix-up, you can manage to keep crushing them over and over again. So they have two orbs, and you can you don't even have to do a mix-up right there. You just make them fear melee, and if you space yourself a little far, you can get a crush. So that's um. These are 6C22B crushes with um that little alternate 22B stuff. Um, it is really good in the corner, but you have to be able to mix up correctly. And her default mix up is maybe 22A, 2A, into 5B. It's that's a like it's like um it's like a frame trap because it, it is still minus, but you can do this actually the default one. Wait, let me see. Wait a sec. <clears throat> so with your default stuff, all right? Because we start out default in Soku. Um, you got your two-way mix-up for a low, and you might go into six A, but since six A is not really a plus on block, uh, run blo on run block, um, you want to be able to five B after it. It doesn't matter on run block or right block. Maybe 2B if you're really into that move, but I prefer 5B. Um, and maybe some people will block this, but not a lot of... Usually the good players won't really block after 5B, so you can establish some respect with this button right here. And maybe stop them from trying to jump out, trying to border escape. Usually I do 2-2C because people don't really... Um, people really take a bit to mash after the 5B. So since this is a plus on block, you can do, you can reset from it. Um, if you level it up as well, I'm not even leveling up. It should put them in the air if they do get hit by it, and you can come off of that. But I don't level it up. So this is my default mix-up with her. It's just this, maybe F5A run block. Um, yeah, this is plus on block. So it's a good button for for mix-ups. Usually you can just do it again and it'll stop you from jumping. Or you can do um, F of A run block, go in or go into a 2A or go into a 5A. It's pretty good. Um, it's plus on block, on run block though. So you don't want to keep staggering over and over again if the person right blocks it. But eventually people will give you some respect. If they do. Now about, their, about the low option, you got 2A. Pretty good. It's not plus on run block though. I think it's zero on run block or minus one. So you um, you don't want to stagger it too often, but it does catch people eventually. Um, you got three A right here, which is pretty good for run blocks. It is plus two on run block, I think. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Most of the times you want to FIV after it because people will try and jump out. But if they don't jump out, you can just reset into more pressure. And I think 2A reaches from there too, because 2A is hella far. Like, it, it reaches so far. Um, <clears throat> so that's your general ground mix-up. It's not amazing or anything. Oh, I got something else to show you. That's right. Another ground mix-up that I thought of um, is this right here. It's um, It does give you some meter. So I kind of enjoy it. Doing it over and over again. So I got 2A, instant flight J2A, and, the, and then into more mix up. I keep doing it over and over. You don't do it that many times. You have to mix it up a little more. Um, it's not, you can't dash under it, but you can jump it. However, if, um, let's say, they jump it and you read the jump, then you can go into an air block string, which that's where you. That's where you should have an easier time opening them up, opening them up, um, especially with axe kick, where you can do crush from two one four into the air and get a full combo of that. Pretty nice. Um, yeah, this is this block string is kind of weird. I never really thought it worked, but I actually noticed that most people block when you do something like this, and you can do J five C land cancel. In order to maybe or maybe do it like another air dash. One sec. Yeah, there you go. It's unmashable too. So it's it's pretty good. I like it. 
it does some 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 orbs. It um establishes maybe an overhead mix up like that. You can go into that. You can go into this. You can walk away and do FIA. Um, you can do this and then air dash again for a double overhead. Fake overhead. Um, let's see. So yeah, this is a pretty good tool. You don't want to spam it, but you do want to use it though. Um, since you kind of have to use everything that Million has. J2 is a really good tool. Uh, you can use J5A sometimes, but I think that can be run, on, run under. So I think this is probably a little better. So that's your default stuff though. And then you got your 2-2-B crushes, which is pretty cool. Does two orbs on block. And if you run block with a, uh, with a melee, you got three orbs down. But now let's talk about this move right here, one inch punch. Now this is probably, I guess you could argue that it's one of Mei Link's best way of doing block strings. Um, it doesn't really have a far hit box. Like, let's, let's take it at level one because that's the most realistic scenario. All right. So um, the okay. Before that, let's talk about the ground block string. So with axe kick, at least, I did forget to mention that you can establish some respect after five B with axe kick, and um, as long as you space it away, it is minus on block, so you don't want to absolutely mash after axe kick unless you are sure that they respect you, not even on raw block. So you just kind of block after that. Um, and it's not airtight, but it does catch absolutely anything that the other person can do besides maybe a DP. Um, so let's say they, ma they don't want to block and they take a counter hit. You just combo off of that, so that's cool stuff. Um, yeah, that's a cool uh, stagger to do. Um, after you've established some respect, even like maybe with 6C or something to do a little more spirit damage. Not not the C version though. The C version is isn't that really that good most of the time. Um, after you after you've established that they actually block after the 5B in fear of the 214, you can do this and that can push them to the corner little by little. Um, then you continue uh, with your ground block strings. You do that, you block. Um, you are sure that they'll that they're respect and you push them into a corner with a little air blocks. And see, I can push an opponent to the corner really easily by just doing dashes and um, so yeah, like that. Uh, don't use 6-6-A very often, it's not the best move. Um, but now for block strings with 1 inch punch, I think it is at level 1 right now. See, it doesn't really have a far hitbox except for maybe right here. Um, so you can't do it off an F5A or a 3A, because I think it pushes back a little too far. Yeah, um, but your mix-up here actually becomes maybe a little better. You can do it off 2A. It's mashable, though. Alright, so sometimes it's not, it's not really the best option. Uh, so you have this move right here, 2B. That makes 1-inch um, punch unmashable. And you can do a 5B version that will trade. Um, if they try and hit a button, actually no, that was that was it. Let's say they didn't try and hit a button, they didn't, maybe don't block, and you get a counter hit. So you can combo for that as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, it is not tight from 6A, but you can do a 5B after it. You just want to make sure that you delay it a little, because if you do it instantly. Then you get a far one, so you have to delay it maybe like a few milliseconds, and then you get it up. Same with the 5B. You don't want to do it too early. You want to kind of time it a little. Um, you can do it with 2B easier. <coughs> you can do it with 66A, but it's not. It's smashable. So basically, if you want it to be unmashable, you gotta use 2B or 5B. <coughs> And that's what your mix-up becomes for the most part. You just do this, and it's plus on block too. So, um, so after it, you can do F5A to cash mash, like F5A. Uh, let's see if 
the person tries to. Okay, wait. Alright, let's say they mash. You do a button after it and it counter hits. See? So it's a pretty good move for trying to catch people who are mashing. Um, this catches jump outs, mashing, it doesn't catch DPs, and it doesn't catch border escapes. But now we'll talk about border escapes in a little. Um, so, like, it's a good option. It's plus a block, but you don't always want to F5A after it because it is, like, it is incredibly plus. So it's, like, so plus that you can actually run up and do it again. Making sure that, um you're in the right space for 5B. So you do this, and you can stagger it almost forever on people with regular jabs. Or you can do 2A. Since 2A has a large hitbox. And let's say you do it like three times. Like, look at the opponent's health bar you'll see that it does do pretty good chip damage so even so like don't be um disappointed if it doesn't really do that much spirit damage because like technically you can keep doing this over and over if the opponent doesn't border escape since it is really that plus so you do it over and over again and eventually the chip damage will go up to like maybe 1.5k and You'll be doing a lot of damage without actually opening them up. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's a pretty cool mix-up. I like it. But now, let's say they border escape. And uh, we can't really get a border escape in this practice mode because this practice mode is trash. But um, border escaping is something different that Meili needs to deal with. It's I wouldn't say that it's something bad that she has to deal with because... Mailing following border escapes is actually pretty strong. So let's say they border escape. Let's think of that as a border escape. Um, like I said, we got the 2-2-B, all 2-2-B pressure. And most people will most likely border escape the 6 -E. So what you want to do after it, let's say they border escape after it. <clears throat> you can't really react to it, or you might be able to react to it if you delay it just a little. Or if you give yourself enough time to actually think about it. If they border escape, you can catch with J2A and go into an air block string. And uh, if you learn your loop correctly, you should be able to give them a threat. Um, they can be guard crushed in the air. So um, so let's say they border escape there. You can also do J5A since it reaches so high. Granted, you know your, your stagger. Um... So yeah, that would be, that'd be pretty strong for milling. Um, let's say people border escape the six to three. Um, they border escape the six to three, and okay, let's do that again. F5A won't catch, so they're gonna try and border escape, and you can actually catch them with G5A. So it's a pretty cool. Um, it's so like, you can react to it, so. Like, there shouldn't really be much problems with people trying to get away, unless they really have, like, a DP or something like that. Um, I'll show you what to do on someone without a DP. But for now, like, this is um, cool stuff. Like, um, another thing that you can do off 1-inch punch is you can actually fly down in J5A. I do this very sparingly, just because you can do F5A, and uh, sometimes it's much better. But it, this much, this is like much easier for reacting to border escapes, um, as well as two A, because if you're two A whiffs, for example, let's say you're about to do two A and they border escape, you can just jump and catch their border escape, um, and that's gonna be pretty cool, you know, because you're gonna crush them. Um, so yeah, that's it for most of our block strings on regular characters. Um, there are some characters that you can do like TKJ5A or TKJ2B on. Actually, no, it's probably TKJ2B. Maybe this, drop down with another J2A. Um, only on really tall characters though, so Reimu is not really one of them. Um, you can do other stuff with Reimu, but really not, I don't recommend this. You can still do this. 
Um, cause you can, you have, you do have to mix everything up a little. She's, she's a really mix up heavy character, so you really have to think about what you're gonna do next and making sure that you continue your block strings. Um, what else am I gonna say? <clears throat> Um, well, yeah, that should be, oh, her spell cards, so that's right, um, I'm only gonna tell you about the spell cards I have in this deck right now. Let's see, you got this, converts, you should, you should be able to know what converts from both of these moves, but this move is pretty good, it's a combo move, so, um, it's also air unblockable, that's right, so if people jump, and you really, really want to read them, you just do this, you got a nice air unblockable setup. Um, you you did like sacrifice your regular six to three for a one inch punch, so you will have to do eventually. Maybe some AUB setups with the spell cards. Um, you got your three card. I don't use this very often because it doesn't really do that much damage, but it's pretty good regardless because it gives you upper body invincibility. Um, it contests any move I'd say, any move from the air, and um, with a little timing down, you should be able to combo after it. Um, on counter hits, it's way harder to combo, but eventually, if you get the timing down, you will have some good damage packing up. So that's it for that card. You got this card right here. That's actually, in my opinion, one of the best cards in the game. It links off 2A. It um, it links off AUB 5A, which is even more amazing. It links off of anything, all right? Just think of it like that. It, it literally links off of anything. <laughs> but on the air... Let's see. You can practice some conformance with this card right here. I'm not going to do it all. But um, it's a pretty good card. It's also plus and block. But I wouldn't recommend you to use it in block strings that many times. Maybe if you're really desperate for the crush, I'd say. Uh, maybe a little setup. And then you can do some mix-up after it. I don't even know if it's plus. It just looks plus. <laughs> um, this move is a Typhoon card, but it is also good for combos. Um, so it's, it's pretty good. You got your four card right here. It's a reversal, just your regular reversal. It's actually pretty good since it's, um, it's ungrazable and it's okay in speed. It also covers a nice large area of the map. <coughs> it's good for people who are maybe flying above you and doing bullets. And, um, you read the bullet, you run up. And they do a bullet because they are trying to play neutral, and then you catch them with four card. So that might be counter hit into 3.8k. Pretty good damage. Pretty respectable good damage. All right, so now let's go for another type of block strings. Um. <clears throat> oh, something I didn't tell you is this 3A charged. It's plus on block. This move is really good for staggering um there's a lot of people who will absolutely not block after this because they just like mashing so doing this is kind of good i'd say it's a pretty good idea to do to use it eventually um very like very sparingly though because it doesn't really do much apart from frame trap you can use this move which i think um is plus on block if you space it correctly. Um, it really depends, but yeah, the charge attacks are pretty alright. They're not amazing for the most part, but they really work. Um, but now let's go for another different type of strengths. Let's see if I can get my other mailing deck down. Uh, where's mailing? All right, okay. So regular green green deck. <clears throat> Alright, so you got your Axe Kick. Axe Kick is really good. Um, the, you can research about the other cards yourself. Um, yeah, they're, they're also pretty good, but they have weird uses, and I don't feel like making a really long video right now, so... Well, basically, let's ignore that you have that, because um, Advice Sal said that it's arguably bad to level this move up. This move is an air unblockable, so it's actually pretty good. Um, however, I do feel that you need this right here. So this is my style of block strings with mailing. Um, so you'll see me do maybe a little ground staggers, 
try and bait out DP eventually. Um, without the without the default two two, you can't really do this mix up. So maybe you will have to do a little more of this. Maybe get a few ROM blocks going. Maybe uh, yeah, just imagine those are ROM blocks. But if you get them down to two orbs or maybe one, you can do um your sixty two two B sixty two two B uh, guard burst, as I say it. Um, and most likely people will be, if you really think that you want the extra orb, you can charge your 5B and do three orbs like that. Um, so yeah, that's three orbs. And you can crush with that. Your mix up of that is, let's say they block high, maybe, or low. Um, and you can manage to crush like that. It's, it's um... It's an okay guard burst, but I'll tell you that for good players, 100 or at least 99% of the times, they'll try and border escape out of it. So, after they try jumping, you get them into an air block string, and eventually people will respect your air block string. So I didn't tell you about this with the, um, like the last matches I told you, but um, you were eventually going to run out of meter, to keep, so you can't just keep doing this over and over again. Um, if they have five orbs, especially, I don't think there's a way that you can actually crush them with air block strings. Unless maybe you have like this right here leveled up to two. But even then, I don't really think that you can do it very easily. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hard. But you have something else called respect. So a lot of people will end up respecting Mei Ling. So you can do respect strings like... Um, and go for re-jumps. And close to the ground, my Link's block strings are actually pretty, pretty good. Like, you got this, um, let's say. So see how I'm, like, um, re-landing in order to actually block string? That's, like, you want to learn how to do that. Um, because it's actually really helpful. Since you're not going to be able to crush people with 5 orbs, you can do that. And you can link that infinitely. Um, it's really good. I'm not showing you every single way that you can actually um, reland with, because that'd be like a lot, a lot of mix up. So you'd really have to see where you can mix up and go for a re jump. Because the re jump allows you to have all your flights back. And if you have your flights back, plus a little bit of orb damage. Um, you can ma actually manage to crush them right there. So, that'd be the cool stuff. Um, but, let's say like, okay, you want quick damage, okay? So you do an air block string, and you don't really want to go for a crush that match, because you, uh, you don't really want to go for a crush that much, because you feel like they'll border escape uh, a lot of times. What you can do is, once you establish that respect, you can bring them down to the ground, and I'm not the best at doing this, but you can do, yeah, you can do this. That. And that's the V version. Um, with respect, you can actually manage to get people into an air unblockable setups. Um, let's say, no, not that, I keep missing putting it. like that the B version is a little a little too fast but the C version might be a little better oh my god I keep doing 6 C. I I hate this um, oh my god this is terrible um, let's say you time it a little better okay there you go you can actually combo for that so once you establish that respect right there um, you can combo after it, and you can get some damage like that with air unblockable setup. So this is called like um, the air unblockable style of mailing, <laughs> where she runs the default six to three instead of the one inch punch one, and um, you fly down and stuff. I don't know how to work it because I haven't used the skill in a very long time. But once you get this, like the basic of it, uh, is just you get people to the ground. Uh, you fly f away from them, like, I mean, uh, below them really quickly, and then you do, like, maybe six to three. Um, 
Usually it's not best out of fly downs, but uh, don't take me up on that because I re don't really use the style very often. Um, I'd say that it's better off of re jumps like that. Um, if you do manage to space it correctly, unlike me, you should be able to get some cool air unblockable setups going. Um, you should maybe you should pack a little more of this. I think. Um, I think if you want to learn how to time this, you can just do one jump and then two one four. So that can give you easy timing with the air unblockable. Just jump and two one four. I uh, level it up to three. That should be a good knockdown into damage. <clears throat> so, all right. So you got this. Um, oh my God, I'm so bad at timing. I can't believe it. Um, you'll have to ask advice all for this or someone else who plays melee because I don't really use that this style very often. I'm just sort of telling you that this is good for air unblockables. Um, and you'll have to find your own way to actually. There you go. That works nicely. Um, this can actually air unblockable as well. So it's a good block string. You can use it like if you are running one inch punch. You can use this move instead to air unblockable. It's a little harder to though because obviously it doesn't have the high hitbox that this move has. So it depends on what you want to run really. I think it combos into this card as well. And I don't think it's worth it. Well maybe if I time it a little better. Let's see. Oh, there you go. I mean, I don't know. It's not amazing still. Um, so yeah, that's that's mostly it for Mei Ling. Um, her air block strings are pretty pro, so you really want to be able to combo nicely. Oh, for Okizeme, um, on regular characters, you want to sort of like let's say they tech right here um, you want to maybe fly let's say um, Yomu wakes up in the corner um, you just knock down and you catch the no tech with J5A or J2A if she goes behind you um, you should be able to catch with J2A maybe cross up situationally um, this move is good for Okizeme. Maybe you can jump and do that. Um, maybe you can... Um, I can't really show it that well for Okizeme right now because this practice mode is so bad. But technically, um, you, you can use back jump J2As to maybe Okizeme a little better. Maybe 6-6-A to establish some respect. Maybe F5A. So people take backwards, you F5A. If people take forward, you F5A. And that's... A little more harder to do. Okizeme isn't really the easiest thing to do. So, I'm not going to blame you if you get it wrong. Uh, some characters it's easier and other it's harder. Um, so, yeah, basically that's that's it apart from this little BE catch that you can do. You can level it up to maybe get um, a good bullet anti-air. You see that it gains like a little red cannon. Um... The one thing that the advice style tells me that it's bad about this is that it does make your setups a little weaker because, um, well, actually, I don't think he's blocking. All right, the bullet part is blockable. Um, so that's okay. I don't know what's happening. It should be blocking. Yeah, it is blocking. Okay, I guess. I guess. Okay, yeah. There you go. This is the bad thing about it. Um, it's still like good, but he thinks he says that it's not really worth it to level it up. So maybe take take him up on it, on it. Uh, take him up on it, and not me because I don't really use this thing very often. I used to use it a lot, but then I went into one inch punch, which works better for me. But yeah, like that's pretty much it for mailing. You got your. I guess for other stuff that's like her own um, gimmick is stuff with system cards. But I'll show you one gimmick I guess really quick with um, Diamond Dust. You grab this shit, you level it up to 2. 
and you get unblockable setups. It's not really good off 3A, but let's say you do this. You time it, and you keep doing it over and over again, or you probably should combo after it. Let's let's imagine that I'm actually timing it correctly. Like, they can't get out of this. Oh my god. <clears throat> but yeah, if you time it correctly, you should be able to just loop it over and over again until they die, unless they have a DP. Then you're going to have to mediate so that... Um, you recover on their DP uh, recovery and you can punish them after it. It's like a meaty but a little more complex. Um, the C version of the unblockable setup I forgot to tell you about. Um, it works at level 2 but I recommend it more at level 3 or 4. Um, if you really think the opponent is over blocking a lot you can do the C version um, but basically you can do the C version off of maybe 2B. Okay, maybe a little closer. And that will make them... That will hit them straight. Like, they they might be able to DP after it. But um, they can't really do anything else. Um, if you read a ground tech, you can backdash into this. But it's only uh, really doable with a level 2 or 3 or 4 uh, 1 inch punch. It's like a ground tech read, let's say. Um, but yeah, like, people eventually will block this, will keep blocking this. So, uh, the more people block it, the more respect you gain. Um, so, eventually you're going to do the C version, and you're going to get them with some unblockables. And it does do a lot of damage, and you can combo after it. Um, I'm bad at comboing after it, so. So, like, yeah, I wish, I really wish I could combo. Yeah, I can't do it. Maybe like... No, not that. Um, I know I think if I still assist this or something like that. Maybe 2B. Yeah, that works. Uh, there's a few other combos, but basically... The point is that you make people respect the B version. And then you hit them with the C version. Um, it's literally the same mix-up. Like, there's no other mix-up that you do. It's the same mix-up with B, except instead of doing B, you do C. So, you're doing this, and people respect that. And instead of doing B, you just do C. Um, you have to cancel it a little fa You have to um, input it a little fast so that it's, you know... The faster you input it, the better, pretty much. But yeah, like, on level 4, it should be almost really impossible to tell apart. Because it does charge up pretty quickly. Um, this becomes tight at level 4. Or at least unmashable. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this is a strong tool, honestly. I'd recommend that you use this a lot more, but it's... Uh, it's arguably good. Uh, it's arguably the best way to block string with mailing. Only problem is that Yoma has a DP, so she might be able to DP on reaction to the C version. Um, so that's when you'll have to use maybe the other deck. But like, yeah, that's it for mailing. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, Matchup stuff and something like that. Not really worth talking about right now because this thing is getting a bit too long already. But yeah, that's like basics of mailing pretty much. Um, I guess I'll do Suka next. No, I'll definitely do Suka next. <coughs> so yeah. That's all I have to say. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all later. <clears throat>